If you're in high school or you've been through high school already, you probably have a Texas Instruments calculator. Well today I'm going to show you how to hook it up to your DSLR so you can do time lapses. First what you're going to need is a 2.5 millimeter to 2.5 millimeter cord. The next thing you're going to need is a Texas Instrument calculator. Um, I have the TI-84 Plus, but this will work from anything from a TI-83 to a TI-89. And you're also going to need a DSLR. Alright, so the first thing we're going to want to do is program our calculator. So go ahead and turn it on. Go to Program, New, and enter a name. I like to keep mine simple, so I'm going to name it Camera, just to be able to find it easy. Uh, where's the R? A. You're going to want to type this program, prompt a while one for h comma one comma a comma one and send a end. Alright, so once you have the code written now, you're going to want to take your cable and plug it into the calculator where it says i dash o. Just plug it right in there. And you're going to want to take the other end and on your camera you're going to see a remote input which is 2.5 millimeters on most cameras. You're going to want to plug it in there. So once you have your camera connected, you're going to want to go back into programs and select your, your program, which you just programmed. And then it's going to say program what you named it. Then you're going to hit, then you're going to hit enter. And it's going to show you A equals question mark. Now here's the tricky part. You would think, oh, I want three seconds, but no. Calculator doesn't work like that. If you enter 100, that is one second, and so on and so forth. 200, two seconds, 300, three seconds. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna enter 200. And after you hit enter again, you should see a little bar moving, and that's your camera running the program. Now let me show you a time lapse I did with my TI-84 and my T2i. If you want to learn more about the codes and all that stuff, click in the down bar and it'll take you to a great Instructables tutorial on how to do this. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this little mini tutorial and I'll see you next week. Bye!